What's up guys? I'm Deep Cut, your YouTube. Welcome back to Cartoon Universe. Oh my god, we finally have some news and it is insane. After all this time, we finally know what the future of Steven Universe is, and why the Crewniverse has been so tight-lipped about Season 6. Today was the day of the Steven Universe New York Comic Con panel, and boy did they have some surprises for us. After a mostly uneventful panel, they decided to go out with a bang by revealing that there is no Season 6 of Steven Universe, but rather that the show will end with a limited series called Steven Universe Future. To coincide with this release, the opening theme for the new series was put up on YouTube, and wow, is it something. We're gonna break this down, but first, what exactly is it? Well, from what people are reporting, it appears to be a limited series, meaning it's set out to tell a small number of stories with a limited episode account, without the intention of it becoming a long-running show. The show shouldn't be renewed or get a second season, it is just a limited series. There was no confirmation on just how many episodes that would be, but a limited series is generally rather short, so I don't imagine it will be as long as the average season of Steven Universe. People who attended the convention had claimed that the vibe was that it was a bunch of singular episodes meant to tie up loose ends. Things like what was in Lion's chest or what happened to Jasper. And oh boy, on the note of Jasper, do we have something. In part of the opening, we see that there is a sequence that shows off a series of villains, and Jasper is of course among them. I do imagine Jasper will turn good by the end of it, but she is definitely going to be in the series. Many people are speculating that she will only be in one episode or so, as opposed to having an entire arc, what with the limited nature of the show. Another villain returning seems to be our Aquamarine, but as a fusion. We can clearly see her teardrop-shaped gem, but who did she fuse with? I would reckon it is another ruby considering the color scheme, but we can't see the gem, so it's not someone like Eyeball. There seems to be some corruption in the corner of her face as well, which makes me think that it might be a slightly uncorrupted gem she fused with. I don't think she's just experiencing the corruption on her own, as she does have four legs, which is something we mostly only see with fusions. Then we have this Steven-esque monstrosity. At first I thought it was a mass of watermelon Stevens, but after a closer look, it seems that it's actually a cactus-based Steven. I imagine there will be another episode where Steven brings something like this to life, and we have to deal with the consequences of this disaster. Then of course you probably notice that White Diamond is back. She is shown in the beginning of the opening as being friendly, but it looks like she will have her own struggles to deal with as well. I imagine she will at least get one episode dedicated to dealing with her darkness. Perhaps being good isn't as easy for her as it seemed in the movie, and she has a bit of a relapse. Clearly there's something evil going on here if she's being paired up with all of these guys. Then we have two new Lapises over here. I like to think that they worked with our Lapis while terraforming the Earth, but anything is possible with this show. Why are they coming back as villains? Hard to say. Will it be an episode about Lapis getting closure with the life she used to have? Who knows? I don't know. This is insane. And finally, what the heck is this thing? I can't tell if that is a horn or a gem at the very top of its head, but wowee is it scary. My personal opinion is that it will be a corrupted gem. While the diamonds were able to heal all the gems that have been bubbled so far, I have a hard time believing that the crystal gems were able to capture every single corrupted gem on Earth, especially considering how many were left over for Jasper to find back in Season 3. Now if we rewind back to the beginning, we have a pretty clear picture of who is going to be getting focus in this new show. The diamonds are around, not just white, so hopefully they get an episode for themselves, if not an individual episode each. Then there's Spinel. A lot of people believed she would only be in the movie and then would never be brought up again, but it looks like she will at least be around, if not getting an entire episode focused on her. All of the off-colors are here, of course. An episode about them adjusting to human life is definitely in our future, even Patty can see that. And then we have the uncorrupted gems. They're definitely filling out the cast, even if it's just as background characters. And finally, there's Lars. No Sadie though. I don't imagine they're breaking up, but Sadie probably doesn't have much left to explore, whereas Lars adjusting to what he has become now that they're back on Earth is likely going to be something to explore. And of course, let's not forget Steven in his new black shirt. Not sure on why this change is happening, but it does make me wonder if there are black diamond vibes coming. After all, his outfit is supposed to be made up of pieces of each of the diamonds. 
There's blue on his original shirt, pink in the jacket, white on the jacket, and yellow on the star. So why is his shirt black now? We also see that White Diamond is looking a little dark in the new villain card that we saw, so maybe there's a connection here as well. Or perhaps it's just Steven having a mild, rebellious act. I suppose anything is possible at this point. All in all, this wasn't what I was hoping for. I wanted nine seasons. I wanted to see the show invert itself, to tell another story just as big and epic as the one before it. But at the end of the day, seasons one through five were a complete story that the Crooniverse set out to tell. The head writers have moved on to other projects, and giving the show just enough time to wrap up old storylines and ensure us of the happily ever afters is not something I'm going to be disappointed about. That's all I have for you guys today. Subscribe because we will be covering this spinoff as it develops. Haley and I will be attending the Steven Universe Comic Con panel here in LA next week, and I'm sure we're going to get more information then, so make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.